For these Shanghai residents, a trip downstairs for COVID testing is the only outing they're allowed. Some have been in lockdown for up to five weeks. Most have run short of food and daily necessities, while tens of thousands of people have been forced into mandatory quarantine centres. <laughs> Frustration is high across the city. Now a message many won't want to hear. China's leader Xi Jinping, through his health chief, has said coexisting with the virus is wrong thinking that must be strongly opposed. When you have a policy that's so tied to the uh, key leader and also the um, Communist Party, uh, frankly, to sort of suggest otherwise would be to suggest that somehow they got it wrong. The government is trying to blunt the economic hit. Factories in Shanghai are restarting, but most workers will have to live on site and global supply chains are rattled. While the costs of China's elimination policy continue to rise, authorities in Asia's other COVID-0 holdout are doing the opposite. Here in Taiwan, they're abandoning COVID-0 and trying to manage the spread of the virus. After more than two years of closed borders, the highly infectious Omicron variant is spreading fast, but there's no sense of panic. It's not possible to use the harsh measures they apply in China. It's just not respectful to people to do that. Once the pandemic is managed, I think we should open the borders. We need to be connected to the world. Like China, Taiwan remains cut off from the world, but is now on a very different COVID path. Bill Bertels, ABC News, Taipei.